So here I'll demonstrate how to do the text mining on the expert classifications of the genetic migraine search string that we performed in PubMed. So first of all we go to the, the data mining tab and then click up under the text mining menu click text mining. Uh, we have to select the text variable where the text resides and we want to select the column or the variable where the abstract resides. We now can do some other selections here. The stemming language, of course, will be English. And the default is to have 1,000 words returned. This would be quite a few, especially for the fact that we only have 117 cases. I would say it would probably be better if we limited this to about 100 words to be selected. We could create some phrases. Stop words are selected as a default. We could also replace and combine words using synonyms. And we could also include create an inclusion word list. We'll just go with the stop words as the default. And we also need to create a project. And so I'll go ahead and select the create new project radio button and then select a place to save the database. Okay, so now we can go ahead and click index. Before I do that though, I could show you that there are some other defaults that you could change for the, the word length, the minimum stem length, minimum number of vowels, how many consonants, duplicates and punctuation. You can also say what characters are allowed to be text mined. Also put delimiters. And then there's some other defaults you can specify. Okay, so let's just go back and, and keep all the defaults and click index. It does this in parallel and it, you can see this very quick to come up with the results. Here are the word lists. It, it does it originally in the alphabetical order. But we can click here and put the, so it's uh, sorted down according to the count. So you'll see that the the most frequent word is migraine. There's 576 counts in 112 files. I would encourage you to use the inverse document frequency, which is log ratio, taking to an, into account the number of times the word comes up and also the number of files that it's seen in. Um, it's a, a weighted average that helps you to know which words are truly the most important. Some of these look promising as far as like Jeanette, which is a, a STEM version of genetics or genetic. Gene, gene would be another word that looks promising. We can go ahead and if we click on the frequency matrix word document, we'll see that we have this very this sparse matrix that comes up. This associated with each of the documents and the words and their inverse document frequency for each of those words. We can also go back and look at what's called concept extraction, which is where we can perform singular value decomposition, which is similar to principal components analysis. So in other words, it's a way of coming up with something that's more simple in terms of a collection of terms that might mean something together, and that meaning together might mean something more than the individual words themselves. So if we click to perform this, it ends up being 36 concepts, we can click the scree plot and see. Whoops, I let me go ahead and bring this up so you can see this a little bit better. So you can see here that in the within the first three concepts, you get most of your percent explained. Uh, so after that, it levels off and there's not much gain for these last concepts. So I would encourage just to to choose where the, the knee is. So we'll just keep the first three concepts. So I would click this and say three, and then I want the document scores um, for those three. So you can see those come up. Now that I've, I've got the inverse document frequencies and also the singular value decomposition scores, I'd like to save those results. 
And I can do that by generating a new spreadsheet with the current results. So I just tell them that I'd like to, to include the abstract and classification along with these new numerical values that we've assigned for the inverse document frequency and also this singular value decomposition. So you see that the these results come up. There's the abstract, the classification from the expert, and the inverse document frequencies, and then here are the very end concepts. So now we have some, some data that we can use in a classification model. We have a classification and then we have all the words and the concepts that are associated with that expert classification. So what we'd like to see now is there's something different about these words or concepts for the genetics versus the ones that are non-relevant as classified by the expert.